Hello guys welcome back to our anime explainer. Guys please like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you. Today is explanation of Martial Universe episode number 32 based on novel. So let's start. After doing his utmost to defend against the incoming blazing whip, Lin Dong then jolted his mind before his blood soul puppet struck out once again. Violent sonic booms from its fist poured down onto the lady dressed in red like a torrential rain. Evidently, compared to Lin Dong, that lady dressed in red was far more wary of his blood soul puppet. As such, she suddenly brandished her lily white hands before an equivalently powerful surge of deathly aura gushed from her body and collided directly with the blood soul puppet. Bang! 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 A muffled explosion resounded throughout the air as a forceful shock wave swept across the area. While the lady dressed in red was caught up in a fierce fight with his blood soul puppet, Lin Dong got tangled up with the fiery whip. As he was engaging with the fiery whip, his mind got increasingly alarmed. This lady was indeed extraordinary. Not only did she manage to maintain a neutral position in her battle with the blood soul puppet, she was also able to divert her attention in controlling her blazing whip to entangle Lin Dong and prevent him from seizing the mysterious ancient key. It was also clear that the blazing whip was an incredible artifact, and there was a scorching heat emitted from its surface. After merely making contact with it, Lin Dong could feel the blood in his body boiling. Luckily, he was able to use his devouring power to repress the whip's boiling effect on his blood. I can't let this battle drag on any further. Lin Dong's eyes flickered. The origin of this lady was unknown and mysterious. No one knew what mysterious artifacts or skills that she possessed. Given the current situation, it would be best to obtain the key and leave this place as soon as possible. I may not be on par with you, but aren't you underestimating me, Lin Dong? by just using part of your attention to control an earthly soul treasure to hinder me. Lin Dong then took a step backward. With a snap of his finger, a black glow shot out from his sleeves. The black glow expanded as it flew through the air and eventually materialized into a black-colored mountain, which was precisely the Heavy Peak Prison. Boom. When the Heavy Peak Prison appeared, a dark radiance gushed out from it. Following which, a powerful and relentless gravitational force engulfed the blazing whip. Immediately, the nimble speed of the blazing whip began to dampen down. Upon seeing this, Lin Dong seized this opportunity to carry out his attack, which forced the blazing whip to gradually retreat, little boy, you are indeed quite capable. The red-dressed lady cried angrily as she furrowed her long, pencil-thin eyebrows. Clearly, she was distraught at the sight of her whip retreating. Lin Dong remained silent. The voice of this lady was pleasant to hear. Even at this moment, her voice contained a flirtatious tone. However, Lin Dong knew that she would not hold back her ruthlessness during a real fight. If one's mind was to be swayed by her words, he was bound to be in trouble. Lin Dong did not want this to happen and therefore, he chose to ignore the red-dressed lady's words. Ying Yang Great Jade Palm Surging Yuan power gushed out like a torrent from the red-dressed lady's delicate palms. Within seconds, the surging Yuan power transformed into a lustrous palm that was split evenly into black and white colors. Though that palm was not huge, the energy shockwaves undulated on that palm sufficed to ashen the face of Nirvana stage practitioner such as Hua Yun, Clank. Without any hesitation, that lustrous palm shot out directly and sealed itself on the chest of the blood soul puppet with a lightning speed. At once, an astonishing energy wave swept across the area like a hurricane. After being struck by the red-dressed lady's palm, even the all-powerful blood soul puppet was driven back several steps. Following which, a palm-like scar was imprinted on its chest. If this attack was to land on any Nirvana stage practitioner, he or she might suffer some injuries. However, the blood soul puppet did not have any sensory receptors, and thus, once it stabilized itself, it could launch torrential attacks untiringly on the red-dressed lady without the slightest amount of hesitation. Facing the death-unfearing blood soul puppet, the lady dressed in red's eyes froze slightly and her teeth clenched lightly. Apparently, the blood soul puppet was a thorny problem for her. Given her usual style, she would have taken her time and slowly beat down this soul puppet into a piece of scrap metal. However, she did not have the luxury of time now as Lin Dong was suppressing her fiery whip effortlessly on the other side. Her control over the fiery whip was getting weaker and weaker. If this carried on, the mysterious ancient key would land on Lin Dong's hands sooner or later. The beautiful, glittering eyes of the red-dressed lady flickered. After a moment, she clenched her teeth tightly and pointed her slender, fair finger towards the mid-air. A drop of scarlet essence blood seeped out from the tip of her finger, 
before it lightning quick grew and transformed into an unusual blood symbol, seal. The blood symbol engulfed the blood soul puppet like a spider web, thump. The blood soul puppet struggled arduously in the blood symbol. However, the bloody web was extremely sturdy and the blood soul puppet could not break out of it even after a while. As powerful gales accompanied the incoming attack, Lin Dong's facial expression changed drastically. However, a fierce look appeared on his face eventually. He decided not to dodge or move and continued reaching out his hand. Finally, he managed to grab the mysterious ancient key firmly with his hand. As Lin Dong grabbed the mysterious ancient key, the lady dressed in red's attack became extremely deadly at the same time. However, just as the lustrous palm was about to strike Lin Dong, a bulky serpent tail that was emitting purplish-black energy shot out from Lin Dong's sleeves and collided firmly with the lustrous palm. Bang! A sharp and crisp sound resonated through the air and a gust of strong wind swept across the area. Even Lin Dong was driven back several steps before he could stabilize his body. After seeing the serpent tail retracting quickly into his sleeves, he knew that it was Little Martin and Little Flame that combined forces to help him secretly. Lin Dong, channel your Yuan power into the mysterious ancient key. This dimension exists within the mysterious ancient key. If you can control the mysterious ancient key, you can forcefully kick this lady out of this place. Little Martin's voice rang urgently across Lin Dong's mind. Upon hearing these words, Lin Dong twitched his mind. Without the slightest amount of hesitation, a surge of Yuan power gushed through his hand into the mysterious ancient key. Since the mysterious ancient key did not belong to anyone, Lin Dong's Yuan power could be channeled into it without any obstruction. At this moment, he could sense that he had an absolute control over this dimension. Lin Dong raised his head and beamed at the red-dressed lady. At this point of time, the latter clenched her teeth and grasped her hands as if she had sensed something. After a short while, she suddenly smiled sweetly and spoke coquettishly, Little boy, you're not that heartless, right? Lin Dong spread out his hands and chose to ignore the red-dressed lady's alluring smile. He then grinned, I have no choice. If I'm not heartless, I might be the one who get kick out of here. While speaking, Lin Dong waved the mysterious ancient key that was in his hand lightly. Immediately, the surrounding dimension began to shift. A pillar of light shot out of thin air and engulfed the red-dressed lady. The latter's body became faintly discernible in the pillar of light. As the red-dressed lady engulfed by the light pillar, a reddish-green glow appeared on her face. However, she did have an excellent self-restraint. Even at this moment, she was still smiling charmingly at Lin Dong. Yet the words that came out of her mouth made Lin Dong cringed, You are Lin Dong, right? Fine, this time around, big sister lost to you. However, do not assume that you have defeated me. You have only obtained a mere mysterious ancient key. Big sister will wait for you in the ancient trove, but by then, if you are still this weak, don't blame big sister for being merciless, remember big sister's name, Mu Hongling. I'm afraid you won't be so lucky next time around. After Lin Dong saw the red-dressed lady disappeared completely into the light pillar, he finally heaved a long sigh. This lady was truly troublesome, after that lady dressed in red clothes, called Mu Hongling was forcefully kicked out of this domain, Lin Dong finally heaved a sigh of relief. Following which, he waved his palm before his blood soul puppet destroyed that blood symbol seal and quickly landed beside Lin Dong, I wonder where that lady came from. Even the blood soul puppet could not handle her, Lin Dong glanced at that palm print on the chest of his blood soul puppet, before he promptly furrowed his brows. That lady was probably even stronger than Chen Mu and her methods were truly peculiar. Previously, she was actually able to trap his blood soul puppet. If Little Flame and Little Martin had not secretly combined forces to help him, Lin Dong may be forced to resort to his final move. Now that he had managed to chase her away, Lin Dong can be considered as the victor for this tussle. However, Lin Dong knew that he had now offended that lady. Though that Mu Hongling was beautiful and she spoke eloquently, Lin Dong knew that beautiful women were the hardest to deal with. Since he had offended her today, it would definitely cause problems in the future. After furrowing his brows and contemplating for a moment, Lin Dong smiled. It was still too early to worry about this matter. Regardless of that woman's background, he must obtain the mysterious ancient key. Therefore, even if he was given another chance to choose again, his decision would remain the same. In order to become a truly powerful practitioner, he must not fear anyone, he he, that woman is truly something. Most ordinary men cannot handle her, little Martin flashed and appeared, before it smiled and said to Lin Dong. 
Lin Dong rolled his eyes at him. Following which, he shook the mysterious ancient key in his hand, before he said, let's go. Since we have gotten what we need, it's time to leave. After all, only a Nirvana stage practitioner, had the right to speak in the ancient battlefield. Since he had made up his mind, without further ado, Lin Dong directly sat down. Following which, he gripped his palm, before that lifelike tree vein symbol immediately appeared in his hands. The tree vein symbol gave off a leaf green glow, and there were signs of life emerged from within. Amidst its potent life force, there seems to be an even more formidable energy within. Just from gripping it, Lin Dong felt as if his mental energy was soaking in a sauna, as a warm vibration continuously extended in his Niwen palace. It is indeed the heavenly symbol spirit tree. As he sensed that powerful yet peculiar energy, a tinge of admiration flashed across Lin Dong's eyes. This tree vein symbol came from nature, and it is exceptionally difficult to refine it. Thankfully, you possess the devouring ancestral symbol, so you do not have to stress over it. However, whether you can advance to heavenly symbol master, after absorbing it will depend on your own fate. Standing aside, Little Martin said. Lin Dong gently tugged his sleeves, before Little Martin shot out from within it. After it released a low growl, it directly transformed into battle mode and stationed itself beside Lin Dong. Even though there was no one else in this vast domain, Lin Dong still chose to play it safe. Therefore, should any unforeseen circumstances occur, he would be able to handle it. When he saw Little Martin, Little Flame and the Blood Soul puppet guarding him, Lin Dong finally relaxed. Following which, he gently shut both of his eyes, before that tree vein symbol in his palm slowly floated up, before it finally stopped in front of his forehead. Meanwhile, a leaf green like glow glimmered within. However, it did not seep out. It seems what Little Martin said is indeed true, and it was very difficult to refine this object. However, since Lin Dong possessed the ancestral devouring symbol, this evidently posed little problems for him. The ancestral devouring symbol specializes in devouring and refining and any energy source would be transformed into primal energy thanks to that ancestral symbol, with a flick of his mind, that devouring ancestral symbol, that was hovering in Lin Dong's Niwen palace, leapt out from his head. Then, it squirmed before it directly transformed into a black hole. As that black hole slowly grew, it directly enveloped that sturdy tree vein symbol. Lin Dong naturally realized the sudden changes that were occurring in his Niwen palace. However, he did not panic and he was delighted instead. That was because he knew that in order to advance to Heavenly Symbol Master, he must destroy the chaos in his Niwana Palace, and create a new world in order to sync with the outside world. Only then, would be able to freely utilize the energy in the universe to its full potential. However, it was evidently no simple task, to create a new world in his Niwan Palace. Even with streams of peculiar lifelike energy continuously gushing in from that tree vein symbol, it was still going to take some time. Nonetheless, Lin Dong was already well aware and prepared. If it was so easy to advance to Heavenly Symbol Master, it would truly be unfair to those practitioners, who had to painstakingly gather Nirvana pills in order to attack Nirvana stage. One had to go through a slow and careful process in order to obtain a fine product. Lin Dong was quietly seated within the serene mysterious ancient key domain, while a black hole in front of him slowly extended. In the center of that black hole, was a magical tree vein symbol. Right now, that symbol continuously trembled, while streams of pure and potent energy, filled with life, endlessly gushed out, before they poured into his Niwen palace, and helped him to shape a new world. Beside him, Little Martin and Little Flame quietly sat still and waited for him. This time around, if Lin Dong could successfully advance to Heavenly Symbol Master, he would be joined the ranks of the elite in the ancient battlefield. The domain was silent. However, just as Little Martin concentrated on taking care of Lin Dong, none of them realized that a trace of lifelike energy had slowly seeped out from that black hole before it was finally absorbed by that nearby corpse. Faintly, a mysterious glow flashed beneath that corpse's lifeless skin. Lin Dong knew that it was going to be a while before he could create a new world in his Niwen palace. However, he never expected that a whole month had passed since he shut his eyes. In this one month's time, his body had not moved at all. Meanwhile, that formidable glow from that tree vein symbol had evidently dimmed down. Furthermore, all of the energy within had almost been completely drained by Lin Dong. Standing aside, when Little Martin saw that darkening tree vein symbol, its heart sank. It could detect that Lin Dong's mental energy had grown at an alarming rate over this past month. However, it was still insufficient for him to break through to Heavenly Symbol Master. 
Furthermore, if Lin Dong was unable to create a new world before the energy within the tree vein symbol runs out, his dream of advancing to heavenly symbol master would have to be delayed. This was not good news for them. While little Martin fretted over their situation, another three days had passed. Finally, that tree vein symbol within that black hole violently shook before it disappeared with a loud bang. When it saw this sight, little Martin softly sighed. While it sighed, Lin Dong, who had shut his eyes for over a month, finally slowly opened his eyes. There was a tinge of disappointment and regret in his eyes, just a little more. Lin Dong helpless shook his head. Obviously, he did not expect that even after borrowing the strength of the tree vein symbol, he was still unable to break through to heavenly symbol master. Action with his eyes filled with disappointment, just as Lin Dong stood up, a new event suddenly occurred. Standing nearby, that corpse suddenly exploded, before a peculiar greyish light beam shot out quickly before it tunneled into Lin Dong's mind. Instantly, the latter's body froze, take over. Standing aside, little Martin was stunned by this sight. Promptly, an icicled aura shot out from its eyes. Little Flame seemed to have sensed something too. Its blazing scales twinkled with a red radiance, as it continuously bellowed in Lin Dong's direction. Lin Dong's body laid rigidly on the floor. His eyes had become dull and appeared to be in a struggle from time to time. Currently, his Niwen Palace was in chaos. The greyish light beam that invaded his Niwen Palace had become an extremely terrifying hurricane, with its brutal ripping force eager to thoroughly tear apart Lin Dong's mental energy. This was the first time Lin Dong had come across such a situation. He could feel an extremely gloomy and cold energy from the greyish light beam. The greyish light beam appeared to have some sort of intelligence. Its objective was extremely obvious, to destroy Lin Dong's mental energy and cause him to lose control of his own body, God damn it! Even though Lin Dong was a little frantic due to this scene, he did not lose himself to fear. Furthermore, it was not as if he did not know how to deal with such a situation. Instead, he had tactfully retracted his mental energy and hid within the devouring ancestral symbol. The Grey Hurricane wreaked havoc in Lin Dong's Niwen Palace, and it was extremely dangerous. Luckily, Lin Dong had the devouring ancestral symbol as his guardian. Even though he did know how to deal with this situation for a moment, but with help of the devouring ancestral symbol, he could defend himself safely behind it and stop the greyish light beam's hurricane from invading his body any further. Hand me your body, and I shall grant you unlimited power. The greyish light beam tried to invade Lin Dong's body with its hurricane for a few times, but still could not break the latter's steel-like defense. Suddenly, an extremely weak but sinister voice came through the hurricane, get out of here, you bastard. At this moment, Lin Dong was already incensed at the unexpected calamity. Therefore, when he heard the unknown voice, he immediately broke into a fit of rage, you actually possess a mystical artifact in the devouring ancestral symbol. However, because of your weak body, you can't activate your mental energy effectively. Once I get the control over your body, I will let you lead a grand life that is full of glory. A menacing voice came through the hurricane once again. After which, the hurricane expanded abruptly. A terrifying, heaven and earth crushing force accompanied the hurricane and blasted towards the devouring ancestral symbol. Upon seeing this, Lin Dong did not dare to slack off. He could sense that the greyish light beam was not particularly powerful, yet its mental energy controlling skills were of several levels higher than Lin Dong's. Therefore, even though the latter possessed the devouring ancestral symbol, he could only use it for defense purposes. Little Martin Lin Dong was surprised to see a sudden helping hand from Little Martin. Gigantic waves were surging in Lin Dong's Niwen Palace. Amongst the chaos, an incredibly huge monster could be faintly seen. Its enormous wings were huge enough to hide the sky and block out the sun. It was as if the monster was above everything else, portraying a terrifying image. Lin Dong's state of mind was in shock as he stared at the enormous monster in the chaos. This must be Little Martin's true body. He did not expect it to be so intimidating. Action, Celestial Demon Martin. A shocking voice came through the hurricane. Clearly, the entity had identified the enormous monster, what an ignorant fool that can't be in peace even when you're dead. How dare you, a mere remnant of a mental energy brand, incite trouble here. However, since you have appeared, you shall not escape from here. The voice of the enormous beast was piercing and tyrannical. As it flapped its two huge wings, two tornadoes swept up and bombarded the hurricane with a lightning speed. Even though Little Martin only had a demonic spirit body, its mastery of mental energy far exceeded Lin Dong's. Therefore, 
it was far more powerful than Lin Dong in the Niwen Palace. All of its movements erupted with terrifying powers. Bang! The hurricane was driven back forcefully by the two tornadoes until the point that it exploded thoroughly. Then, a faintly discernible grey shadow appeared in Lin Dong's mind. The entire body of the grey shadow was nearly transparent. However, his appearance could still be vaguely seen. To Lin Dong's astonishment, the grey shadow looked exactly like the corpse that he had seen previously. Sure enough, it's that fellow who is creating troubles. Lin Dong cursed in rage. He almost fell into the hands of this dead man today, Celestial Demon Martin, I just want the body of this lad. You are merely in the form of demonic spirit. If your lord can resurrect, I will revive you as well. Why are you safeguarding a nameless scrub? The grey shadow roared as it glared fearfully at the enormous monster. Grandpa Martin has followed this lad for so long and I never have had such intention before. An outsider like you actually dare to do this in front of Grandpa Martin. Give me your life now. Upon hearing little Martin's piercing scream, if Lin Dong could show his emotions now, his face would be unsightly. Apparently, little Martin did not plan to give the grey shadow any chances. In the dark, the gigantic mouth of little Martin, which was said to be able to swallow an entire mountain, opened up and a darkish purple light beam shot out from it abruptly. The light beam then ripped through the chaos and landed ferociously onto the body of the grey shadow with a scary speed. Since you are dead, stop creating troubles and rest in peace. After the grey shadow heard little Martin's chilly words, dread and fear swiped across his eyes. Soon after, his body exploded abruptly and the mental energy brand was savagely blew up by little Martin. With the absorption of such massive amount of mental energy, Lin Dong's Niwen Palace began to fluctuate. The existing chaos began to subside and the heaven and earth in the Niwen after the entity that invaded Lin Dong's mind was destroyed, the latter's rigid body gradually relaxed itself. Meanwhile, waves of terrifying mental energy continuously gushed out from his Niwen Palace, causing the mini-world within to ripple. Compared to before, Lin Dong's mental energy was now on a completely different scale. This transformation was akin to the power difference between the manifestation and nirvana stage. Lin Dong's tightly shut eyes slowly opened as resplendent and almost solid-like mental energy shot out, directly tearing a long crack along the sturdy black marble floor. This mental energy had already reached a rather tyrannical level. Upon seeing Lin Dong awaken, Little Flame's body armor erupted with a bright radiance before returning to its original state as it tenderly rubbed its large head against Lin Dong. Lin Dong spat out a mouthful of impure qi, a trace of lingering alarm in his eyes. Apparently, the previous unforeseen event had gravely frightened him. If not for Little Martin's help, it would have truly become extremely troublesome, this fellow is nothing good, Little Martin commented as it appeared on Lin Dong's shoulder and glanced at the blown-up corpse. Lin Dong nodded his head. After devouring the greyish entity that had tried to take over his body, Lin Dong managed to obtain some memories of the dead practitioner. These memories proved that this fellow was indeed a bad person. However, what pleasantly surprised Lin Dong was that there was some unique mental energy manipulation techniques among these memories. From Lin Dong's perspective, these techniques were akin to gifts from the heavens. Even though he had attained the rank of a heaven symbol master, his knowledge on manipulating mental energy was still shallow. From these memories, he was able to learn numerous mental energy manipulation techniques and secret spirit skills which certainly filled up some of the gaps in his knowledge on mental energy. Furthermore, while obtaining these experiences related to mental energy, he was also able to acquire information on the ancient treasure trove as well. From these vague memories, Lin Dong understood that the ancient treasure trove was left behind by an extremely powerful sect. The treasures that existed within the ancient treasure trove were extremely enticing. Besides this, the dead person who tried to take over Lin Dong's body was not the actual guardian of the ancient treasure trove. He obtained the mysterious ancient key only after mounting a sneak attack on one of the ancient treasure trove guardians. Even though he was able to successfully snatch the key, he was gravely injured by that particular guardian. As a result, he was forced to hide in this place to recuperate. Unexpectedly, he still died in the end and the key that he had obtained was conveniently taken by Lin Dong. Moreover, the mysterious ancient key in Lin Dong's hands was not the only key. There were four keys in total. Only by inserting all four keys at once could the ancient treasure trove be opened, we still don't know who has obtained the other keys. Lin Dong furrowed his eyebrows. If the ancient treasure trove was really that enticing, it would definitely attract numerous drooling treasure hunters. 
those high-rank empires would inevitably set out to snatch the keys as well. If news that he had obtained the key was leaked, it would bring considerable trouble. As Lindong's thoughts reached this point, his eyes slightly narrowed before he smiled. He had not feared Nirvana stage practitioners, such as Chen Mu even, before he had attained the level of Heaven Symbol Master. Thus, now that he had become a Heaven Symbol Master, he would be able to do battle against Chen Mu without relying on the Blood Soul Puppet, this fellow turns out to be a great help at this dangerous juncture. Action, as Lin Dong slowly digested the dead practitioner's memories, his eyes flushed with joy. Even though this fellow was perhaps not a good person while he was alive, he was considerably strong. Therefore, from Lin Dong's perspective, being able to obtain these experiences and memories were as good as acquiring a high-grade manifestation martial art. Little Martin, thanks for the help this time, Lin Dong smiled a little as he shifted his gaze towards Little Martin. After hiding here for a month, it was time for them to go. Given Lin Dong's current capabilities, even if Chen Mu and the rest were still guarding the stone temple, Lin Dong would be able to fend them off easily and retreat safely. After making his decision, Lin Dong tarried no further. With a thought, the mysterious ancient key in Lin Dong's hand began to emit a powerful light that engulfed Lin Dong and his counterparts. Their bodies became increasingly fainter and eventually disappeared from the mysterious key dimension. As Lin Dong and his counterparts disappeared, the mysterious key dimension once again became silent and void of life. As the darkness before Lin Dong's eyes disappeared like a receding tide, vigorous mental energy gushed out and formed an extremely powerful defense around his body. However, the attack he anticipated did not materialize. Lin Dong immediately heaved a sigh of relief as he scanned his surroundings. Instead of appearing in the stone temple, Lin Dong had appeared on an isolated mountain peak. After Lin Dong took a sweeping glance at his surroundings, a familiar feeling surged through his mind. Though he was not at the Stone Temple, this place was not far from Thunder Granite Valley. As Lin Dong gazed into the distance, he could see Thunder Granite Valley that was within the mountain range. It seems that the mysterious ancient key is quite a valuable treasure. Little Martin looked surprisingly at the mysterious ancient key in Lin Dong's hands before continuing. It appears that once you activate this key, it will bring you into the void before starting to move. In the future, you will be able to hide in the mysterious key dimension if you encounter any dangers. As long as the individual you are dealing with is not exceptionally problematic, he or she will not be able to find out where you are hiding. Upon hearing these words, an amazed look flashed across Lin Dong's face. Clearly, he had not expected the mysterious ancient key to have such unique property. If this was so, he would have an escape route even if he encountered any dangers in future. It seems that the people in Thunder Granite Valley have left. Lin Dong was amazed for a while before he shifted his gaze beyond Thunder Granite Valley and saw numerous thunderous clouds gathering above the valley. From time to time, lightnings poured down in torrents, causing the entire valley to rumble with thunder. We will go back to Yang City and find Mo Ling and the rest. Lin Dong pondered before replying. The Mo Ling trio had been following him since the beginning, thus Lin Dong had to ensure their safety no matter what. Furthermore, he was a little worried. Chen Mu was obviously no kind soul, and was not easy to deal with. If he could not find Lin Dong, he might shift his attention to Mo Ling and the rest. Chen Mu and his counterparts knew the value of the ancient treasure trove, therefore, they would not give up on the mysterious ancient key so easily, Creek. As his thoughts reached this point, Lin Dong's fists clenched tightly as killing intent surged in his eyes. He hoped that Chen Mu would not resort to such tactics, otherwise, he would pay a hefty price, let's go. Lin Dong gently breathed out. Without any further words, he waved his hand as his body shot into the sky. After becoming a heaven symbol master, he could easily muster energy from the land. A gust of powerful wind formed beneath his feet, the Devil Cliff Empire possessed an illustrious reputation, even amongst the other high-rank empires. Although this kind of reputation was not always a positive one, it still struck fear in the hearts of the other empires. In the ancient battlefield, Strength was the most important after all. In the past, the distribution of power in the Yang city was rather well proportioned. Even if other empires dreaded the Lingyun Empire and Great Yuan Empire, they were not too fearful of them. That kind of balanced atmosphere satisfied everyone. However, ever since the arrival of the Devil Cliff Empire, the well-balanced atmosphere of the Yang city had been officially broken. When that particular Nirvana stage practitioner stepped onto the tower and looked down at the entire city, his sinister and tyrannical voice imbued fear into numerous people. Some people could not help, but sigh when they thought of the current situation in the young city. Indistinctly, 
There seemed to be prudent whisperings spreading around the city quietly, members from the Iron Empire, the Great Tang Empire, and the Black Cloud Empire have been captured by the Devil Cliff Empire. Reportedly, they are captured because of their past affiliations with Lin Dong, who disappeared in the Thunder Granite Valley after obtaining the mysterious ancient key. The Devil Cliff Empire is simply too despicable. They actually want to use such means to force Lin Dong to surface, that Lin Dong is no fool. The Devil Cliff Empire is extremely powerful and even some high-rank empires do not dare to offend them. How could Lin Dong dare to oppose the Devil Cliff Empire single-handedly then, that's true. However, the most unlucky ones are Mo Tai and his counterparts. Given the despicable nature of the Devil Cliff Empire, if Lin Dong does not appear soon, Mo Tai and his counterparts will not be easily let off. The Yang city is no longer peaceful anymore, it's time for us to look for another place. Outside of the metal cage, there were black-clothed members from the Devil Cliff Empire. At the center of the plaza, there was a man sitting on a stone chair. Meanwhile, he was looking at the metal cage with a sadistic yet indifferent tinge in his eyes. That man was not Chen Mu, instead, he was the Nirvana stage practitioner, who previously fought with Lin Dong over the heaven symbol spirit tree. His name was Li Pan, and he held a reasonably high position in the Devil Cliff Empire. He was still brooding over the fact that he got taken advantage by Lin Dong previously. Initially, he thought that he could get back at Lin Dong by obtaining the mysterious ancient key. However, the mysterious ancient key eventually landed in Lin Dong's hands. Furthermore, the most important point was that Lin Dong actually disappeared after he obtained the mysterious ancient key. That undoubtedly pissed off Li Pan. Luckily, they still had some tricks up their sleeves and were able to take control of the empires that had affiliation with Lin Dong. Unfortunately, the three guys who came to the Yang city together with Lin Dong managed to escape. Within this one month, Li Pan had tried many methods to humiliate Mo Tai and his counterparts in a futile attempt to force Lin Dong out of his hiding place. Yet the results only left him dejected and angry. That was because within this month, Lin Dong's shadow did not appear, let alone his physical body. I want to see how long can this coward hide. These people are your friends. If you don't come and save them, sooner or later, your reputation will be tarnished. Hee <laughs> hee, you will definitely be criticized for keeping treasures for yourself while leaving your friends here to suffer, Li Pan mumbled and laughed sinisterly as a tine of chilliness flashed across his eyes. After Li Pan finished his sentence, he reached out his hand and took over a cup of hot tea from a servant. He then squinted his eyes and looked at Mo Tai and his counterparts in the metal cage and beamed, Mo Tai, don't put on a vengeful face. Instead of hating me, you should be hating that coward, Lin Dong. Because of him, all of you are in this mess now, scumbag, you had better pray that I do not have the opportunity to leave here, otherwise, I will bite off your flesh bit by bit. Mo Tai stared fixedly at Li Pan while his eyes were bloodshot. Suddenly, the former laughed sinisterly with his face looking twisted. Action, he he. Upon hearing Mo Tai's words, Li Pan gave an extremely cold cackle. He then shot Mo Tai a glance and spoke softly, it seems that I have failed to mellow down your bad temperament during this one month. Do I come off as too good-natured? Li Pan suddenly stood up after he finished his sentence. With a clap of his hands, Three daggers that were flickering with a cold deathly flash came swishing out from behind him. After today, I shall bring my men and leave the Yang city. I'm going to attack the Nirvana stage. Liu Yuan's body trembled slightly before he calmed himself down and replied with a hoarse voice. The sight before him made him understood the cruel reality of the ancient battlefield thoroughly. The Lingyun duo had a tight relationship with Lin Dong as well. If not for the fact that they were both quasi-Nirvana stage practitioners, they would be locked up in the metal cage. Ling Yun remained silent as he nodded his head. In the ancient battlefield, only by attaining the Nirvana stage, could one have the right to speak. Otherwise, the sight before them might happen to them in the future as well. Meanwhile, in the plaza, Li Pan was scanning his surroundings with a malevolent look. Anyone who made eye contact with him felt dreadful and left the place quickly. This put a twisted smile on Li Pan as he liked the dominance that he was exhibiting, Mo Tai, my patience is running out. From tomorrow onwards, I shall kill one person each day until Lin Dong appears. Therefore, you better pray that Lin Dong stops being a coward. Otherwise, this cage shall be your final resting place, Li Pan sneered, Li Pan, you are a total bastard. Lin Dong will not appear. However, should he really appears, trust me, your ending will be hundred times more miserable than us. Suddenly, 
Mo Tai's previously twisted face became unusually calm. He stared at Li Pan as his voice remained composed yet contained a tinge of chilliness. The sneer on Li Pan's face froze. He then looked at Mo Tai and started chuckling. However, a cold killer intent could be seen surging through the former's eyes, displaying the fury in his heart. Since you are so stubborn, let's start today then. Li Pan smiled. With a wave of his palm, vigorous Yuan power gathered and transformed into an extremely sharp spear in his hand. With a jolt of his arm, the spear ripped through the air with an ear-piercing whistling sound and flew towards Mo Tai with a lightning speed. The speed of the spear was so fast that it created fear in one's heart. The energy that it emitted was enough to make even a Nirvana stage practitioner like Liu Yuan to tremble with horror. It was clear that Li Pan intended to kill Mo Tai, scumbag, just you wait. Even at this moment, Mo Tai was laughing balefully while showing no fear in his eyes. This video will end here. Thank you for watching.